Hi friends, this is Pallavi Mohan and today we'll be talking about emerging technologies. Well, there is a lot in emerging technologies. So I'll be giving few examples today and I'll be leaving links in the description box for you to go and see the details. Some of which you will find in Wikipedia, some of which you will be finding it in other YouTube videos. So I'll be giving you a gist so that you can prepare for your lectures or you can prepare for your class or examination on the topic emerging technologies. My background is marketing and information technology. That is what I did my first masters in. The second one is direct marketing, which I did in New York, USA. So let's get started with emerging technologies. What is emerging technologies? Well, the new technologies which have come up like artificial intelligence, VR, AR, robotics, drones, Internet of Things, all this constitutes of emerging technologies. It is the latest technologies which each and every field is using so that they can benefit from the same. Now, let's take a couple of examples and a couple of technology in which these are progressing. Let's get started. So the first example which I'll be taking and I had noted it down and then discussing with you is artificial intelligence. Now two examples. One is of a petrol pump wherein in the normal cameras they put anomalies. Now for example if there is a small little fire which has taken place the camera will identify whether the fire is small or it could turn big. Now based on that it will generate a report and give it to the store manager so that the store manager has information and the fire could be extinguished. The second is it will give it directly to the fire station that it's a big fire which is about to happen at this petrol pump and one should send their first people out there to extinguish the big fire which is about to take place. So now this is example of artificial intelligence in which the human intelligence is not used. Why? Because the human might be sleepy at night or else they are not in the full form or else they could not identify the fire and what could be the consequences. So this is using artificial intelligence in a particular scenario. The second is in the same petrol pump, maybe two bikers had caught and they got into a fight and now the fight has begun in such a way that they can now damage each other. They could fight with themselves in so bad that they could hurt each other. So now again, the same information, the camera will use the anomalies and the same information will go to the police station saying there's a fight which is happening and soon the police inspector should come in. The same message will go to the manager and the manager would come to know that there is a fight which is happening at his station and he should immediately try to sort to resolve it. Now, this information again is a form of artificial intelligence wherein the camera identified the facial expressions of the two guys, bikers who were about to start the fight or the conversation went so bad that their anomalies which were there could identify that this fight could go even worse and thus the information was sent to the manager and also to the police station. So this is just one station and there were two examples within it. Now let's move on to another one which is school, college. Now attendance is a big thing which happens in schools and colleges and it is too much of time consumption wherein you know the teacher takes out name and identifies whether the student is in class or not. Now what could be done is that automatically there's a camera which is put in and installed can identify how many people are present. So if it's a class of say 50 and the camera identifies that okay 40 people are present, that's it, the attendance is made. Now even they will identify whether which student is present and which is not. So a list will automatically be prepared as to 40 students are present and these are the names and 10 students are not present and these are the names. 
So this can be made in say a fraction of a second or maybe a minute uh, and that's it. The data is prepared. So there is no time wastage and the teacher comes to know automatically and the same data can be given to the principal or whosoever is responsible to maintain the attendance record. So this is just one example within the class. Let's take another example in class. Now, if a topic is getting studied and the teacher wants to know whether the student is understanding or not, what would happen then? Well, the camera can even identify whether the student has understood a topic or not based on his facial expressions. So it depends completely on what anomaly is put into the camera and what all the camera can identify. So this is artificial intelligence. There are a couple of examples just to explain what is artificial intelligence. Let's move on to another emerging technology, which could be say robotics. Now robotics has gone a long way. A lot of robots are getting created and they are doing multiple activations. Now let's take a few examples here as well to understand robotics. Now, robots, you know, you have seen pictures, what a robot could do. So, or maybe a dog, which is in the form of robot and what it can do. But let's take some examples to identify how it can make work easier for you. Now, one example is hospital. Now, there could be ward boys who are, you know, carrying a patient in a wheelchair and taking the person to the lift or maybe to the dialysis unit or maybe wherever the patient wants to go. So now this robot would easily identify what is the patient's condition, take the help of people who are nearby and put the patient on the wheelchair. The next step is it will automatically identify or maybe if the person says I want to go to the dialysis unit or if a person who is assisting also mentions which department or which place it has to go to. So again, the robot in this case would carefully take the patient to the lift and then to the particular place. So for example, dialysis unit, it will leave the patient there, take the permission and then again go back to maybe the doorstep or wherever the robot is required. So now this is a very sensitive activity but because of the sensors, it can be easily done using robots. Another example is uh, maybe at a place, army or some place where weapons are used. Now, in this case, you do not want a human to get hurt and, you know, try to put a gunshot or something like that. In that case, a drone could be used or again, a robotic structure could be used, which is not a real human, but looks like real human and goes to the place has gun along with it so only when it is identified that okay there is an enemy on the other side only then the gunshot is put in now if the enemy also tries to do to destroy or try to hurt the other human the other human is not actually a human it's a robot so it cannot completely destroy the unit because it's an electronic unit so something like this can be prepared in multiple ways in multiple numbers and thus you can save human life and you can leave it to robotics to do the needful. So this is another example of robotics. The third could be security. Now on security, you really do not need security guards. You can again put robotics and they can not only identify maybe the car or whatever it needs to be done, but they can identify more based on artificial intelligence as well. So you can put multiple technologies, which are emerging technologies into one frame and get the work done. Now the world is progressing a lot and there are a lot of countries which are already started doing the same. For example, Dubai already has a security personnel, which is not exactly a human, but it is into robotics. So we have various examples, various countries where already emerging technologies have come up and they have already started the work making the place a better place to live in. Let's take some more example from emerging technologies, which could be you know known to you or maybe not known and you would love to hear them. Another one is drones. Now in COVID time, we definitely have heard that lot of antibiotics 
or maybe some chemicals or maybe certain things which will destroy the viruses or bacteria or microorganisms which are creating diseases could be killed in well whether it kills or not the drones were definitely used to spray the chemicals because they did not want any human intervention going to places because they wanted to maintain social distancing so again drones were used in multiple ways this is one which is most recent so that's the reason i took that example another could be security control if you want to see what is happening at the enemy's end but you really do not want a you know flight to be there or a small helicopter to go and see what's going on you could send a small little drone and it can take a complete view grab everything in the camera and come back in case required it can also carry some small instrument of destruction wherever it is needed or to protect the drone himself so now drone is another example wherein you could use it as a security device uh, it could be used as a spraying device now third example could be it could be used for spraying fertilizers in farms now to cover a huge farm a huge number of acres it might take a lot of time and you want consistency to be maintained even in spraying the fertilizers so a drone could be done and you can computerize it to do the same so this is another example to make your work easier this is one example of emerging technologies so that you can use the technology and make work easier and faster for yourself the third is 3d printing or 3d models now you can put technology into it and you really for example it's a medical uh, you know center and you're trying to teach students how to do an operation or you're trying to teach uh, you know when you open a human body what is there in it now you really do not need a real human body or a, a person who's dead and you're trying to teach on that particular device but you can do it on a 3d model which could be so natural that even when you cut the blood flows out and even when you reach the heart it is pumping and so and so on and so forth so that the medical students could understand it in a real example but actually it is just a 3d model with printing on it so this is another emerging technologies where you really do not know and you really do not know whether it's a real one or a you know non real one it's just a 3d model another one in medical is lot of robotics are used to do the surgery you really do not need the doctors to do the surgery it is just based on the patient's report the x-ray report uh, the report as to you know what is the disease where is the fracture everything can be corrected using robotics and using exact measurements so that the patient is completely uh, you know the patient completely recovers and is good to go back home so uh, let's take some more examples of emerging technologies which you will definitely like to hear now you would have heard about smart cities now how would smart cities really take place smart cities are a combination of a lot of emerging technologies plus internet of things wherein you need the smart city you need a smart hospital uh, you need a smart highway and a lot of things like factories so all the products which are made are made in factories so everything has to be smart so that they interact with each other and internet of things which is basically machine to machine interaction takes place and you come to know that what is getting less in a hospital and automatically from a factory it goes there to the hospital from the hospital it goes to the patient so so everything is very much connected uh, for example let's take a patient who's on dialysis now the patient might need certain medication say a b c and d now all that medication is taken from a hospital hospital supplies a factory could fulfill in so everything gets connected and the patient doesn't have to wait all the medication would reach the patient in you know less than a fraction it's like all the information would reach all the medication would reach and everything on time because everything is connected through the emerging technologies through rfid and through internet of things which is called iot in short 
So this is another example of emerging technologies. I'm giving you continuous examples so that you come to know how things are made easier. Although in the description box, I'll be leaving a lot of links and you can study into details more from there. Now, when we are talking about Internet of Things and we are talking about speed, say 3G, 4G, 5G, very important is the upcoming one which is there in India. 4G has already taken place and it is there at various locations. What about 5G? What is so good about 5G which everybody is excited about? Well, in this there are two things to discuss. One is high speed and one is low latency. Now, what are these two terms one should understand? High speed is, for example, in a 2G technology or a 3G technology, a movie download would have taken three hours. When it is 4G, it takes a couple of minutes to download a full three hour movie. Now with 5G, it will be just few seconds and the complete movie of three hours is downloaded. So basically simple, the speed is increased. So 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G. So 5G will have the fastest speed. So this is one category of 5G. The another category is low latency. Now, what do you mean by low latency? Now, a lot of people are talking about driverless cars. And when you talk about driverless cars, we have heard a lot of articles saying that, yes, the driverless cars were there where the car automatically drove when you put a direction, but there were a couple of accidents. Now, why there were accidents? The accidents were because the low latency was not maintained. When the driverless car was going, the sensors could not identify the object which came right in front and thus the accident took place. But with 5G, the low latency means that immediately the car sensors will be able to identify that there is an object and quickly take an action. So that is what low latency would be beneficial in the 5G technology. So low latency is you can quickly identify and the fraction of the second is about the low category. So low latency means that the fraction can be identified earlier and it is lower amount in which it is getting identified. So that is the low latency and high speed as I already told you is that a movie download which took three hours will now take three seconds. So with the number of G's which are added 1G, 2G, 3G and now upcoming in India would be 5G and thus everybody is waiting for it. So that is about the 5G technology and what it could do. It is a part of emerging technologies and it will add a benefit to it. So this is all about, uh, you know, technologies and a lot could be done using this. Another example which now people are observing that students are not going to the school because of COVID online classes are going on whether it is school or colleges people are preferring online classes students are at home and they are learning from the teachers who are able to teach them online now if you want to take a student to a particular place another place and make them study about that particular culture how would you do that so for example the international courses which were there in which you take one student maybe of delhi to go and show the entire place or take the student to Kerala and to show the entire place. How would that take place? Well, very easy. You can make VR gears or augmented reality, virtual reality or mixed reality. And actually the student would reach a, a particular destination, whichever destination you want in the particular format. So in this, for example, you're in Delhi and you wear that particular gear. Now, virtual reality is all about whatever you see in that gear. So automatically you would have reached Kerala and as if you are in Kerala and seeing the entire place all by yourself. So just by using a particular device, you can see the entire place actually as if you are there at that location. So in education, it is definitely a go through. It is It will really help students. Augmented reality again. Now there are books, but you can really in the book there is a drawing which says, okay, this is a kidney or this is a heart. Now, how would you see the actual function as to where the vein is coming, where the artery is coming, iota is coming, and all that stuff? Well, 
you can see that through augmented reality so it actually becomes real wherein earlier it was there in book and the moment you scan it from the phone it comes in front of you so you can see the heart pumping actually and where the blood flow is going and things like that so whether you're studying about heart or a human body or maybe there's a training going on wherein you're training a person for a particular car saying that okay this is car engine and you want to show the details of it so how would you do that in covid times well you can definitely use mixed reality which is augmented reality plus virtual reality and make it easier to for these things to happen so this is again emerging technologies there are various examples and i can keep on going with the examples but these would be enough to make you understand that technology has come to the next level and just by using these technologies we can make this life a better place to live in for other details i have put the links in the description box which will really help you do subscribe to my channel this is pallavi mohan thank you for watching